How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video here. Uh, Julie wants to do a project and she wanted some rusty metal. And she wanted it pretty thin. And I don't really have any uh, real thin metal rusty laying around. So uh, we got a piece of galvanized steel here. And this is just, we picked up uh, up at Lowe's. It's uh, pretty cheap. I think just a few dollars you could get a sheet like this. And this, is, instead of buying it where they actually sell the pieces of metal in the hardware section, which if you bought it in the hardware section, you pay a fortune for it. I went over to where they sell the plumbing or the, the, the uh, ductwork. So this would be actually a piece of ductwork that was um, for a furnace. And I, I think this big sheet cost about seven, maybe seven or eight dollars, which I don't think is that bad. Uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, making this guy rusty. And from what I understand, galvanized is just a coating that they put on uh, the metal so it doesn't rust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my palm sander out and I'm going to sand that coating off of there. And then we're just going to throw it on a picnic table and see how long it takes to rust. Uh, now there's a few other things I can do if it doesn't rust fast enough for us. But I just want to see what happens if I sand it down and throw it on the picnic table. Put a little bit of water on it and give, give it a couple days to see what happens. Okay, um, I got the palm sander and I got some 80 grit sandpaper on it. It's pretty rough. I think it's 60 or 80. I think it's 80. Uh, so I got some 80 grit paper on there and I'm going to be wearing a respirator because you know what galvanized is definitely not good for your lungs. So uh, I'm going to put on a respirator and uh, get to sanding this thing. We're going to sand the living heck out of it. We don't want to sand it down to nothing but we do want to sand it good. So. This is going to help, for sure. Okay. I think we got all the galvanized off the side that we want to rust up. Oh. Uh, Make sure you guys use a respirator with this stuff. That is like a chemical on there that they put on there. So you don't want to be breathing that dust. Um, so basically, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to check this sandpaper to make sure I can let you know exactly what size that is. I got some more over here. I'll look real quick just so you know. It's 60 grit paper. That's what I used on there, 60 grit paper. Get you guys up here a little closer so you can see what it looks like uh, compared to the other side, which here's that side. There's that side. You can see how shiny that side is. So we got that down there pretty good. I'm going to get a little bit of water on a rag and just wipe it off. Hopefully it won't take too long to rust, but uh, they say, you know, you can use some toilet bowl cleaner. There's different things you could use on this to make it rust faster. But I really wanted the, uh, I think Julie really wanted the original, like the, the, the rusty look, you know. So basically, I'm going to just take this guy and throw it out on the picnic table and see what happens to it. Uh, probably just put a little bit of water on it just make sure it's got plenty of water on it to uh, make it rust okay get it out here on the picnic table it's got a little bit of water on it I got a couple old four-wheeler tires or go-kart tires I'm just gonna lay a couple of them on there just so it don't blow away that thin metal it'll blow away a little bit of water in them too so we'll let her set We'll, I'll let you know how long it sits here and see how long it takes to rust. Well, this has been 24 hours and uh, we have no rust at all. So I'm going to look into a couple different ways of doing this. I'm going to think I'm going to get some muriatic acid and run on this thing. 
and see if that makes a change in it. Okay, just sanding it, what we did, uh, we must not have got enough of this off. It's got a little bit of where the tires were setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand some more on this and get some more off, because I still think the galvanized is just a coating on there and all we gotta do is get it off. So I think what I'll do is I'll sand it down real good and we're gonna put some muriatic acid on this thing and just see what happens overnight. <laughs> Well, I tried to get all of the um, galvanized off of that that I could. I think I did a little better job than the last time. Now, mind you, this thing set out on the picnic table. We put water on it for 24 hours and it didn't really rust. It did leave some little marks where the tires were. It looks like it's got something on there. But we're going to wipe this off. And this time we're going to take it out and put some... Uh, Muriatic acid on it. We'll leave it set there all day, 24 hours. I get up from work, I'll check it out. Now that was a good bit of sanding. So we sanded a lot on this. I was trying to get all the galvanized. As you can see, on this side it looks like flakes. And uh, I try to get as much of that off as I possibly could. So let's get this thing out on the picnic table and uh, get some. Uh, I laid some plastic down. We'll get some of that muriatic acid on. Okay. What I'm going to do is I got some muriatic acid here. I'm just going to put a little bit on it. I got a little paintbrush here. Just a small little paintbrush. We'll put a couple little. Ooh, you can see that stuff's working already. Look at that stuff sizzling. Good thing we're doing this outside. There looks like a lot of fumes coming off of that. It's actually taken the uh, galvanized off of the metal, which is cool. That's what we want. I'm hoping you guys can see that okay. The muriatic acid has literally taken the. Uh, it's taken the galvanized off. That's what it's doing. It's taking the galvanized off of the metal. This little brush seems to be doing okay too for it. I don't think we'll have to leave it on there very long. Yeah, you definitely want to do this in a well-ventilated area. You do not want to do this inside at all. It's, uh, I don't think it'd be good to breathe those fumes. Let it do its work. 
stay back out of its way. All that galvanize is basically off now. I will show you guys a little something you'll need with the galvanized. Or with that muratic acid. Okay, I think we're done with that. Okay, uh, what I need you to do now is get some ammonia. Uh, you want this to neutralize the acid. And just, I put it in a little Windex bottle. I put it in a little Windex bottle so uh, I can spray it. And what I want to do is spray that all down. And it'll neutralize the uh, muratic acid that's in there. And then we could just hose that off with a uh, water hose and it'll be just fine. Okay, that should be good. We'll just get a little bit of water and rinse it off and this guy's gonna rust, I guarantee you. No doubt. Okay, now all it is, it's just a waning game. We got it all rinsed off. Let's see if it rusts by tomorrow. It should, we'll see. Okay, it's been 24 hours just with a little bit of water on there. That thing rusted up pretty good. But as you can see over here, I got some vinegar and salt. Just put some vinegar and salt, a couple tablespoons of salt, and some pure vinegar. So I'm going to spray this thing down with this vinegar and salt a few times. And I'm going to see if that will help this in the rusting process. Now, if this doesn't work, we got a, another alternative to do. But right now we're just going to try this out and see what happens. I'm going to let that dry on there, and then I'll do it again. And uh, we'll see if that helps. I'm thinking the vinegar is actually going to loosen up the steel, etch the steel a little bit, and the salt. We know salt will eat up all kind of metal, so salt will definitely eat your cars and everything, especially like when it's on the road. All right, we're going to put another coat on here, nice and heavy coat, and then we'll let that dry. Okay, what we've done here is uh, it pretty much dried. I rinsed it off because I think vinegar is actually used to remove rust. It kind of takes pieces of the metal away. So we went ahead and rinsed it off. As you can see, it's starting to rust already on here. So I got an old garbage towel here. I'm going to lay the towel over top of it. Just right over top of the metal. That way... This thing's going to hold some water longer, so hopefully it'll rust a little better. Now, I'm sure I could get this. By the time I'm all done, I'll be able to tell you how to get your metal to rust in like a day. I don't think it really take that long. I probably did some unnecessary steps, but it's all trial and error for us. So we're just going to wet this guy down real good. I'm gonna let it sit on. Then we'll come out tomorrow uh, after work and check on it and see if it had rusted any. So one thing we want to do is make sure that the rag is laying completely down against the metal. So we'll give it 24 hours and we'll come back and check on it. Okay, everyone, uh, last night before I went in the house, I went down and picked up some peroxide. They call this hydrogen peroxide. And this is basically, you could pick this up 
at the dollar store. Okay, you pick it up at the dollar store, it costs you a buck. And I mixed it in a bottle with a couple ounces of vinegar and a little bit of salt, a couple tablespoons of salt. Shook it up real good. And what I did last night, this thing's still wet, so we, we're holding water, which we need water for that rusting process. So uh, I did pretty much half of it with the peroxide, uh, vinegar, and salt, and the other half just has water on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the thing off, and we can see where we pulled the towel off. Now you can see over here, this does look a little bit better, I have to admit. So the hydrogen peroxide and the vinegar and salt water uh, definitely uh, worked better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray this thing down real good with this. And then we'll get on with this video here. I used a whole bottle of this, mind you. I had bought two bottles. I used a whole bottle in here. Two ounces of vinegar and two tablespoons of salt. So, we're going to spray it down. And you'll watch a lot of videos where uh, guys are doing this. And they're saying, oh, you can rust that metal up in just a, a few hours. Well, I don't think that's the case. Okay, to get the metal, the galvanized steel to rust, my way of doing it would be use the muriatic acid. Skip that step on sanding, see if that muriatic acid will just pull it off. If it pulls your galvanized off, you're in good shape. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area outside with the wind blowing a little bit away from you. That's going to be the best thing to do. Use ammonia. Now you can pick this up at the dollar store. Just a cleaning ammonia. This is going to be to neutralize the acid. You need this to neutralize the acid and then you can just wash it away. Hydro... Peroxide. You guys seen a picture of it there. This is just basically peroxide. You can pick it, the peroxide up at uh, your local dollar store for a dollar. Get you a couple bottles of it. I do honestly think this worked pretty good. So mix it with a couple ounces of vinegar and a couple tablespoons of uh, salt. Put it in there, shake it up, let it break down, spray it on. Now, if you're going to be doing this and you want it in a day, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, you're not going to get good rusty metal in a day. It's going to take at least a couple days to get good rusty metal. Something that's actually down in the metal to make it look rustic. Um, so, as you can see, you can see where we put that on there. It's wiping right off. Uh, so, you want to leave it on there a couple days. That way you got a good heavy coat of rust on that thing. Two to three days, I think you could really have a good heavy coat of rust on there so uh, that's my way of rusting galvanized metal and you can see right there's the old galvanized actually that's the new galvanized and this is what we have it to look like now uh, but I still think a couple days take your time a couple days you'll have it done so I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like I wanted to show you guys this. This definitely is some good rust, and this is after three days.